hello this is a video on how to play the card game day fugo um unfortunately i had recorded this video but my microphone was not on and so we must redo this entire process but that is okay right we get another chance to play this wonderful card game and so day fugo um, is a japanese card game um, it's, a, it's of the climbing genre uh, the objective is to get rid of all of your cards before the other players by playing them singly or in combination. The game was introduced from China in the 1970s. It became popular throughout Japan in the 1980s and 1990s. Um, and so from Day Fugo, the Western card game president was made. Day Fugo is usually played by from three to six players. A standard 52 card deck is used to which one joker is normally added, so that there are 53 cards in all. The rank of the cards from high to low is joker being the highest, followed by two, and then three being the lowest. So, twos are the highest, um, threes are the lowest, and jokers are wild cards, meaning they can act as any card. Uh, but instead of ace being the highest and two being the lowest, it's two being the highest. Uh, followed by ace, king, queen, jack, all the way down to three being the lowest. The deal and play are clockwise. Any player may deal the first hand. After the first hand, the loser of each hand deals the next. All the cards are dealt out one at a time, as equally as possible to the players. Some players will have one card more than others. This does not matter. In the first deal of a new session, the first player is decided at random. Um, and so... It doesn't really matter, right? And so, the valid plays are a single card, a pair, a three of a kind, a f and a four of a kind. Um, and so, uh, in terms of uh, De Fugo, uh, it's quite a simple, I guess, uh, card game in that regard. And so, um, what you'll have to do is you'll have to sort of just play right you can so you can play a single card uh, you can play a pair of matching cards or a three of a kind matching or a four of a kind matching and so we'll, we'll show you what it means and we'll show you how to play um, and so do note that the objective is to get rid of all of your cards as fast as you can, right? So we deal out all the cards to each player and we get rid of the cards as fast as you can. Uh, do note that titles on each player and we'll talk about those, but essentially get rid of all your cards. It's my turn to play. Do note that you get rid of cards by playing the same number of cards as the, pre as the, as the leader um in a higher rank so a seven was played right that's a singular card so i have to play a singular card of higher rank so it's a literally that it that is literally the only part of the game here it seems like we have uh, some arbitrary rules here and so give me a second here as i sort of uh, deal with these um and so we are back the objective of uh, Day Fugo is to get rid of all of your cards by playing the same number of cards um, as the previous player. Um, so that would be the same number of cards as the leader, right? So if the leader leads with two cards, every other player must play a pair as well. If the leader plays a three of a kind, every other player must play a three of a kind. The objective being to get rid of all your cards by playing the same combination of cards as the leader of a, in a higher rank. So a queen, a jack was played, I can play a queen. That's a singular card in a higher rank. A two was played, and so that was beat by the joker. And so now we must pass. Remember, the joker is a wild card. It's special in that it can, it's the highest ranking, and it can also act as any card. A pair of nines was played. And so now I also have to play a pair. You have to play... The objective of Day Fugo being to get rid of all of your cards, playing the same number of cards um, as the uh, leader in a higher rank. So I'd have to play two cards. I'd have to play a pair that is higher ranked than nine. I don't have a pair of tens, jacks, queens, kings, aces, twos. So 
I have to pass. And so notice how the two was played with the joker there. And so here it seems like we have a 54 card deck where the jokers are being included. But now we, are, we will simply discard a singular card here. This is my second attempt at this, so hopefully I have gotten some gained some skills and can hopefully win some games here. Right, the two is the highest ranking, so you can't beat it unless you have a joker. That's a pair of kings. The only way you could beat that is with a pair of aces or a pair of twos. So remember the objective is to get rid of all of your cards, and so tarot is doing quite good right now. So, it seems like so Megu was the first player to get rid of their cards, right? So the first player to get rid of their cards is the De Fugo, the very rich man. The second is the Fugo, the rich man. The last player is the De Hinman, um, and the second last is the Hinman. So, the Dai Hinmin, or the last player who, the, to get rid of their cards, has to exchange their two lowest ranking cards to the Dai Fugo in the next round, while the Hinmin, or the second last, must exchange their two regular cards with the Fugo in the next round. And it must exchange their one highest ranking card with the Fugo in the next round, and in exchange, they obtain one lowest ranking card from the Fugo. I don't have a... Th Three of a kind, so I can't play them. So I was the hin. So I was the hinman there, and so now what we have to do is we have to give our highest ranking card. Second last must give their highest ranking card to second place. Second place gives their lowest ranking card to second last. Last place gives their two highest ranking cards to first place. First place gives their two lowest ranking cards to last place. Sort of an advantage for being the winner of the previous hand. Um, if you're the Die Fugo, you score two points and the Fugo scores one point. Or one point, sorry. So, we have to trade our highest ranking card. Notice how we obtained a 3. Right? And so, we'll play a pair of 3s. So, the Jokers can be used as a wild card, right? And they also have carry the highest rank if you want to use them. We cannot beat the pair of Kings. Right? You must play the same number of cards as the leader of a higher rank in order to play. So we'd have to have a pair of twos there to play against that ace, but we don't. Here we can play our pair of tens here because it's the same number of cards in a higher rank. Can't beat the pair of queens unless we had a pair of kings or higher. We'll beat that with our pair of jacks there, right? You can only beat a pair with a pair, so you have to play the same number of cards and of a higher rank. Literally that simple. Play the same number of cards and of a higher rank. And the objective is to get rid of your cards as fast as you can. To be the first player to get rid of your cards. So now Megu is the Daifugo because Megu got rid of uh, her cards first. That's a pair of fives. I could only beat that with a pair of sixes or higher, but I had no pair. So, what's the objective of Daifugo? The game is quite simple. Get rid of all your cards as fast as you can by playing the same number of cards as the leader and in a higher rank. I give my lowest ranking card to the Hinman, or the sec second place, since I was second place. I obtained a uh, second last highest ranking card. In this case, that was a joker. So that's quite beneficial for me. 
I'll play my two jacks there. We'll choose to pass. Play my two kings there. A set of two twos that cannot be beaten unless you have a pair of jokers. Be the joker, right? Because it cannot be equal. Even though I had a joker, it cannot be equal in value. You must play a combination of cards that is greater in value than that of the two decisions. Anyways, once again, the deck you go is Megu got rid of all of her cards first. Kind is very good for Tarot. This Tarot can get rid of a lot of cards, luckily for me. I'm once again second place, so I can be the lowest ranking card to the Henry who gives me their highest ranking card. So it's literally that simple, right? Objective being get rid of all your cards um, by playing uh, the same number of cards as the previous player and a higher rank. You can only play matching pairs. Three of a kinds or four of a kinds. The Difugal gets two points for winning a round. The Fugal gets one point for winning a round. You play to a predetermined set of points. So what we'll do is we'll play one more round here, but that essentially wraps it up. And then we should um, finish the video there. Hopefully this time. Okay. There was one more rule that I did not talk about. Because it rarely comes up in this game. But it just came up right here. And so it's a good thing we can talk about it. Sequence is three or more consecutive cards of the same suit. So we have a three of diamonds, a four of diamonds, a five of diamonds. If you play a sequence... Just like how I said previously, right? If a pair is played, you need a higher ranking pair. If a sequence is played, um, to play a card in that same trick, you'd have to play a higher ranking sequence. So, if I have a sequence of three, four, five of the same suit, someone else would beat it with a four, five, six, right? Or greater. So. So you have to play a combination of the same type as the previous play. And so that's what we'll do here. Um, but I do have a nice set of pairs. And so I'm actually going to opt to not do that because I do have a nice set of pairs. But I could have done that, right? And so that is one more thing you can play, a sequence of three or more cards and, the, and uh, you are allowed to play that. And so notice how I'm strategically playing cards. I could have played lower value cards there, but I chose not to. I chose to save the pairs. Not a strategy. In this case, I suppose it wouldn't matter unless I get the opportunity to play pairs. But right now, it is not looking too good. I'll play an ace there. Okay, this is not going my way here with the pairs. There we go. Now this these playing these pairs allows me to discard a large amount of cards very quickly. As a result, I became the Difugo, right? So it's optimal to keep a large number of pairs. 
You can, if you have a large number of three of a kinds or four of a kinds, it's unlikely that other players have any. So you can use that to your advantage. So, let us sum up Defugo. What's the objective? The objective being, get rid of all your cards by playing the same number of cards as the previous player, the same type of combination as the previous player, um, in a higher rank. You know, that uh, suit does not matter. And, um, jokers are wild cards, meaning they are higher ranking than twos, and they can also substitute. Um, but that's essentially it. One more time here, we'll just play quickly. So notice how I'm strategically keeping that joker. I know. So that wraps up how to play Defugo. Thank you for watching. I, am, I apologize if I was not as enthusiastic. As I had done the whole process of editing. And merging and cutting and cropping. And then I realized that I did not have my microphone on. And so. we I did have to re-record this but. Hopefully it's better the second time around, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this unique Japanese card game.